Hey guys, I welcome you all to yet another episode from K21 Academy. As you know, Amazon Web Service is world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform. Being a leader in cloud market, learning Amazon Web Service is worth it. Still wondering if AWS for you? Don't worry, I'll be sharing top 10 reasons to learn Amazon Web Service in 2021. So let's get started. In the end, I will also share details about our free AWS Masterclass, which will not only help you to learn basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow. It will be helpful, especially when you are preparing for AWS certifications. Before moving further guys, hit the subscribe button so that you will never miss an update on Amazon Web Service videos from K21 Academy. The foremost reasons to learn Amazon Web Service is its easy to start feature. Even a person from non-IT background can easily start with AWS. AWS has made setting up an account very easy. Just by creating an AWS account, you can access whole AWS platform. Just go to aws.amazon.com and create a free tier account that provides access to some of the services that will never expire. There are other accounts available that are free for a year along with some premium services available for a free trial. Some of the services include EC2, S3, Elastic Load Balancer and Amazon RDS etc. Although some of these services have some users limit, they are more than enough to get hands-on practice on Amazon Web Service. The next reasons to learn Amazon Web Service is its global infrastructure. Location plays an important role before you decide to pick a location for your servers. AWS is global leader when we talk about cloud service provider. It uses the level like regions and availability zones for its data centers. Currently, AWS Cloud spans 81 availability zones with 25 geographic regions around the world with announced plan of 21 more availability zones and 7 more regions in Australia, India, Indonesia, Israel, Spain, Switzerland and UAE. With this data, you can imagine how big the AWS global infrastructure is. You might be wondering why I added global infrastructure as a reason to learn Amazon Web Service. Suppose companies are investing more and more in AWS. Obviously, they are looking for people to handle their resources, right? As a result, and more and more career opportunities coming your way if you are an AWS person. The next one is flexibility and scalability. All the services provided by AWS are flexible and scalable. You can auto scale them as per your requirements. Scalability basically automatically increase or decrease the resources capacity while flexibility enables businesses to upscale and downscale as per their needs. And this philosophy has been adopted by Amazon Web Service which is generally very helpful for the users. This is how scalability work in AWS. Like if you have minimum number of users, you will be in initial setup. Then you will move further for vertical scaling, horizontal scaling, database deployment. If the user base is really vast, you will be using auto scaling. That means the services you are using on AWS will be auto scale up and down as per the need. The next reason is specialized services. AWS have richest collection of high performing services. We can say most enterprise ready services in the cloud. We have foundational level services which are compute, which is nothing but Linux, Windows or virtual machine. They are AWS Lambda, Amazon EC2. Then we have storage and content delivery services like Amazon CloudFront, Storage Gateway, then database services like Amazon DynamoDB, Amazon RDS, Relational Database Service, then networking services like Amazon Route 53, Amazon VPC, Amazon Direct Connect, then application services which provide complete application in terms of administration and security like AWS Directory Service, Identity and Access Management, AWS Config, CloudWatch. Then we have to deploy our application using AWS Cloud Formations, AWS Code Deploy, then different types of analytic services like Amazon Kinesis, AWS Data Pipeline. After that deployment and management, in application services, we have Amazon SQS, which is simple queue service, Amazon SES, Amazon AppStream, Amazon Cloud Switch. In mobile services like notification services, we have Amazon SSNS, which is simple notification service. And in enterprise services, we have Amazon WorkDoc, Amazon Workspaces. It is like Office 365. You can create documents and for the email users also. So these are AWS services that are very cost effective and easy to use. The next one is scheduling. 
AWS allows you to schedule your services where you can start and stop your AWS services at predetermined times. You can control over resources and you only pay for the services you are using. For example, if you are scheduling services like Elastic Compute Cloud, which is EC2 and RDS, which is Relational Database Service, then you don't need to run these services each day or throughout the weekend. You can schedule your services according to the days you are using it. That is why scheduling is a great feature when you are using AWS tools and services. The next one is best pricing. Pricing is another domain where AWS is way ahead than other cloud providers. They have no upfront cost required to set up an account or use AWS services. They also provide a lots of always free services. Additionally, if you use these services for a longer period of time, AWS also consider discount on them. AWS follows two pricing approaches. One is pay as you go approach where you can get flexible pricing options to have pay for the services you are using. You don't need to pay any additional charges or deactivation cost in AWS. The second approach is pay less by using more approach to encourage higher users. The most amazing pricing feature about AWS is its pricing calculator, which you can use to find out the cost estimate of the services that you are using so that you can keep a track of expenditure on these services. Next one is cloud security. Security is a crucial concern for anyone hosting their resources on the cloud. Amazon has hired a large set of security professionals who help in protecting unwanted activities and data on servers. All the confidential information in Amazon Web Service is encrypted so that customers can be sure that their data being safe and secure. This is the shared responsibility model in AWS. In the blue part, the services that are secured by Amazon Web Service and in the green part, the services that are secured by customer itself. IAM in AWS is a tool which refer to framework of policy and technology for ensuring that proper people in an organization have the appropriate access to technology and resources. The next one is application programming interface, which is API. So AWS APIs are accessible in multiple programming languages. They help you to manage the framework programmatically. Many other services like Cloud Ranger, Quintily and Tango Cards help customers to launch new cases, take backups and use the cost saving feature of Amazon Web Services. For example, Quintily offers social media analytics to the platforms where cloud rangers help the services to understand the visual representations. The next one is wide variety of AWS certifications. These certifications help you to validate your expertise in AWS cloud. AWS currently offers 11 certification, including six core certification and five specialty certifications. Starting with foundational, it basically help you to gain basic understanding of cloud computing with a special focus on Amazon Web Service. Then you can advance to associate and professional level. This level of certification designed for solution architect and everyone who wishes to learn how to develop application and system on AWS platform. And finally, specialty AWS certification that are more specialized. These certification focus on specific AWS services, but the level of technical expertise required is very deep. The next one is high paying jobs. At the end of the day, it's really matter that how much you are earning from whatever work you are delivering, right? Trust me guys, AWS is trending and have a great number of job openings around the globe. These are some of the job openings in India as well as in United States. If you search now for AWS jobs, you will get a lots of openings around the globe. When I searched for the same, I got almost 43,000 job openings on Nokri.com. The average salary for a solution architect in United States is 130K USD per annum and it is 18 lakhs INR per annum in India. And obviously these amounts will increase with time and experience. I hope these 10 reasons will help you to get started with AWS. To make a conclusion for this video, let me tell you how to get started with AWS. You can start your journey in AWS by getting right AWS certifications. Choose certification according to your interest and current skill set. And you may have questioned what about knowledge, right? If you don't know which certification to choose, then I would suggest to go with AWS Solution Architect Associate as it help you to gain understanding of AWS cloud from basics to advanced level. We have put down everything about the certification, including the basic concept that one should know everything like introduction to AWS, security management, AWS, object storage options, designing computing environment, all the way networking and monitoring services, leverage Route 53 for hosting zones, database servers and analytics, 
application and messaging services, configuration management and automations, architecturing on AWS One and architecturing on AWS Two, as well as how to prepare for AWS Solution Architect examination. We offer CV preparation and most important on-job support. If you are interested, I would like to invite you for 90-minute free class with our AWS Certified Expert Trainer, which will not only help you to learn basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow. This interactive session will help you to gaining an understanding of why and who should learn AWS, cloud services, cloud deployment model, and AWS services. Demo on creating S3 bucket and make a data available to entire world. Identity and access management, compute, storage, networking, and more other topics. You can register for this free class by visiting k21academy.com/awsa02. After landing on free class page, just click on book your seat now. Select the date according to your availability. Fill out your details like your name, email address, mobile number, and just click on yes, save my seat. After that, it will redirect to the page where you will find all the information about this free class, like what we are going to cover and the webinar link. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up. If you have any doubts or queries, you can put them down in the comment section. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Till then, take care.